While some things seem really cool on paper and practical in thought, when put into practice it's not quite there. I experienced this very early on when I set out to build a NAS server inside the NCASE M1. So this project stemmed from a combination of things. One being that I've really wanted to build myself a network attached storage solution with RAID so I could store my YouTube videos and have a automated backup system via the RAID. And on the other hand, I really wanted to reuse my NKZ M1 as the build was just kind of sitting around not doing much. I wanted to repurpose it for something that I would be using all the time and I really just wanted to see another build happen in this case. This little video series that I put on building a network attached storage solution inside the NK7 M1 did definitely prove that it is totally possible to build a storage system like this inside an NK7 M1, but with limitations. The main limitations being the amount of drives you can fit into a case like this. The NK7 M1 with standard mounting brackets that it comes with for three and a half inch hard disk drives does support two hard drives. And in our case, we wanted to take it a step further and actually mount a hot swappable hard drive bay inside the NCASE M1, and it did fit with a few modifications. The only downside is, even though we had a triple slot bay, one of the bays actually wasn't able to open just due to the frame of the NCASE M1, kind of blocked that third bay from opening. Along with the mounting that I chose to go with because of that, that was also another reason that it hindered us from mounting a third drive just because of the bolts going into the side of the hot swappable hard drive bay. Even with all these obstacles, the server build inside the NCASE M1 was still possible. We would still be able to use the two hard drive bays available in the hot swappable hard drive bay and run a RAID 1 configuration. This isn't a bad way to go, but RAID 1 is a RAID setup where you have one hard drive mirroring the other. So right off the bat, you're gonna be sacrificing one of your drives just to become a direct copy of the other drive. So RAID 1 definitely isn't the best for cost efficiency and the amount of storage efficiency that you get out of a different type of RAID like RAID 5. So that was another reason that definitely hindered me from continuing the server build inside the NCASE M1. For the final product, I went with three four terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf drives which that is a total of 12 terabytes and configured in RAID 5 it gives us a total of 8 terabytes of striped redundancy. If I were to get the same equivalent 8 terabytes out of a RAID 1 configuration I would have to purchase two 8 terabyte drives and have one mirror the other and like I said that would basically give me a total of 16 terabytes worth of hard drives but it's automatically cut in half due to RAID 1. So RAID 1 definitely is more costly and it you lose some of the perks that you get from RAID 5 like faster read and write speeds and the ability to rebuild a drive if you have a drive failure. So the topic of drive storage led me to build inside the Fractal Design Define R6 once again which is a case that's honestly perfectly designed for massive hard drive arrays or water cooling. So this case is perfect for a server setup like this. In this case allows us to use all of the bays of our hot swappable hard drive bay and even more if we decided to mount more drives inside this case. I did also mount a hot swappable SSD caddy up at the top and this will be used for a couple SSDs to run as RAID 1, maybe for caching videos that I'm working on most recently, 
and stuff like that. So for this build, I basically took all the same hardware from the NKS M1 build minus the motherboard and mounted it inside the Fractal Design Define R6. I had a Z370 ASUS Prime motherboard laying around, so this worked out great. So I just mounted all the hardware onto that motherboard and put it inside the Define R6. Luckily the transfer over was very seamless and we didn't have any issues going to a different motherboard in our operating system. The only challenge to this build was making some custom mounts for the hot swappable hard drive bay. In this case we had all the room we needed but I had to make some custom 3D printed mounts to secure the hot swappable hard drive bay inside the Define R6. The mounts turned out okay, nowhere near perfect but they do the job and secured the hard drive bay quite well. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This was just kind of a little montage video of moving all the hardware from the NK M1 into the Fractal Design Define R6 in order to give us some more space to have a larger array of hard drives inside a larger case. I think this rebuild turned out pretty good and this case is much more practical for a server application like we're trying to do. So in the next video guys we are going to be doing some software side stuff. We're going to be creating our RAID and attaching it to the network now that we have our PC set up and we have all of our drives. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video make sure to drop a like on it and if you want to see more tech related videos like this one be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.